Hi, this is Shade Ayeni. Today, I will be talking about the National Assembly. The National Assembly, an institution of the government we have ignored for far too long, and it seems to be the most powerful arm of government today. The National Assembly, specifically the 8th Senate, has opened the eyes of so many Nigerians to understand the power that resides in the National Assembly and even the state houses of assembly. The 8th National Assembly, inaugurated on the 9th of June 2015, has made us understand why it is important for us to have the right people in that hollow chambers. I do not want to go into the details of what happened, you know, of the events and circumstances surrounding the um, inauguration of the um, Eighth National Assembly, but we understand that the emergence of the seven chiefs, most especially the senior president, wasn't a too good one on the polity, even on Nigeria as a whole. And then the executive has, has experienced lots of, you know, showdown in the accomplishment of most of their set agenda from the party's manifesto, you know. Let's even start from the approval or confirmation of the ministerial list. Some of the ministerial nominees were given tough times and were, were delayed. Their confirmations were delayed to even the utter fierce rejection of the EFCC chairman, Mr. Ibrahim Magu. We all saw that the National Assembly didn't want Magu to be there and they kicked against it so relentlessly so relentlessly that we saw that it was it was obvious they didn't want him there then to the issue of taking so much time to pass the budget coming up with the budget pardon and all that it really caused a lot of delay you know in some formulations some implementations and some you know um, policies that we ought to be seeing in, in, in the change agenda the executive came into be because there was no unity because there was no cohesion between these two giant arms of government now let's go to the recent imbroglio and bohaha that is going on in the national assembly and this is nothing but the rescheduling and the reordering of the election timetable i mean the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria has been clear an unequivocal vocal in assigning roles and duties to most of these institutions. INEC has the sole power to schedule and give timetables, dates and rosters to these um, elections. And according to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Section 76, Subsection 1 says, Elections to each house of the National Assembly shall be held on a date to be appointed by the Independent National Electoral Commission. That is the time for the election of the National Assembly. That's what the Constitution says. Also, talking about the presidential um, election, the date for the presidential election, section 132, subsection 1 says, and I read, an election to the office of the president shall be held on a date to be appointed by the Independent National Electoral Commission. What is the issue? What is so difficult in this to understand that the INEC possesses this power? The National Assembly is acting ultra wise on it, and it is very much painful that they do not understand that there are a lot of laws out there that are yet to be ratified, a lot of bills there that are yet to even be passed to law. And uh, after all, the, the, the Nigerian populace are the ones suffering for this. Obviously, it is because of, of a personal vendetta against the executive or some other people in the presidency that we're having this issue, but we shouldn't be having this issue now. Now, the, the National Assembly has ascribed so much power to itself that I often sometimes feel that it is being tyrannical. What an autocratic power they exercise sometimes. I remember the issue of Honorable Gibrin, who was suspended for 180 days. I also remember Senator Ali Ndume. And now I'm talking about Senator Moagege, who was suspended a few days ago because he publicly noted that the sole action of the Nigerian Senate against the rescheduling of the timetable of the elections was targeted at an individual, undoubtedly so. 
Undoubtedly so. It seems like it. It seems like it. And so when we have a National Assembly that tries to gag its members, to try to make some of its members not be able to represent the constituencies that elected them and put them in the allo chamber, then there is a problem. We are in a democratic dispensation and it must be seen to be so. It must be seen to be so, but when it seems that some people are standing up and they are going against the power that be in these houses and then they are being penalized for it, then it is time to watch it. It is time to watch it. Now, I have a personal grouse with the Nigerians. Why? Because you have the power, but most of us are not doing it. Now, I challenge you, every youth that is watching me, every old person watching me, every young person watching me, I challenge you to take back what is yours. And how can you do that? How can you do that? You can only do that by going out there and get your PVC. Get your PVC. Don't be too lazy. Don't be too lazy as you have been called. Don't be too lazy. Go out there to get your personal voter's card. The process may be rigorous, but it is time to be actively involved in politics. It is time to be actively involved in our choice of leaders. It is time to quit selling your votes for one bag of rice or one dibokosebe or something like that. It is time for you to stand. If you need to see the change, we need to stop coming on the internet or shouting and saying a lot of things. It is time for action. First step of your action is to go out there, get your personal voters card, keep it for the 2019 election. You will be able to vote out who you feel has not represented you well and vote in who you feel can do the job better. With your voters card, with your personal voters card, you can go out there to the ballot to vote for who you feel can represent you well. Most especially, now that we understand the power that resides in the National Assembly and State Houses of Assembly, it is now time to rise up and go vote for know your members know the members of the national assembly know the members of the state houses of assembly it is very important go out there check go on research there's a lot of you know there's wealth of knowledge wealth of information on the internet go and google you can use google you can use bing you can use any social media um search engine to look for your candidates look at them look for the things that they have postulated the things that they stand for the things that they they they, 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 they are selling out to you that they would do and then Take out time to look into them. Know whether they can actually represent you. And if they can, vote the right people into the National Assembly. I am campaigning. Vote the right people into the National Assembly and the state houses of assembly. Don't just look at the presidency and the governorship candidates. Look also at the members of the houses of representatives, National Assembly as a whole, and the state houses of assembly. That way, the change you want to see will not just end and stop at the presidency. It would go from the presidency down to the lower rungs, even down to the local government chairmen and councillors. That way we can see the change that we want. Watch Nigeria transform. When the right people are at the helm of affairs, Nigeria will change. So go out there, get your PVC, keep it 2019, make a date with us and let us do this together. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.